Hey folks, I am here inside of GM's Battery Lab and we're gonna spend some time talking to Mickey Bly, the Executive Director of All Things Electrical. So folks, I'm here with Mickey. Mickey, thanks for spending time with us. Really appreciate it. Um, so I wanted to ask you, you have global responsibility for basically everything electrical at GM. Yeah, I do. You know, I'm very lucky. I'm very fortunate. I get to lead some of the best engineers in the world. And, and to be honest with you, they, they love what they do. They're, they get to play in some of the most sophisticated new technologies that are coming together. And, and what's really exciting about right now is we're seeing this crashing, this crashing of technologies, what I like to call it, is the consumer industry is driving so many new innovations and expectations to our customers. Our cars are driving new technologies. And what we've seen over the last year is really this, this uh, clashing or crashing together what customers think their personal devices have to be able to do in the cars. And that's what we're all about now is how do we take that, bring it into a car really a safe manner and at the same time give a wow factor to the cars. You know, big what do you think about um, driver distraction and uh, the general uh, feeling of you know what it's like to be in an automobile today versus tomorrow and, and in the past. The primary object of being in a car is driving. Eyes on the road, hands on the wheel, and really your thought driving also, the cognitive connection. So what we're doing is trying to do our best to bring these together. Whether or not we bring in new technologies with voice recognition, you know, the human voice is an amazing thing. It has infinite capability of learning more, but how do you make that in a machine work? So we work a lot in speech recognition capability. Uh, we have thumb controls and hand controls. People are getting much more adapt to doing things while they're with their fingers or their, their hands while they're on the wheels, so steering wheel controls. So you can still have that kind of cool factor, but we have to do it in a safe manner, and we're dedicated to that. We, we self-regulate ourselves in this area. We take it serious from a workload, driver workload, and make sure people are driving. I actually had a, a customer clinic I did one time on the West Coast, and I actually had a, a young college student said, hey, driving is becoming the distraction. I want to play with my devices. <laughs> and that's a different way of thinking of it, but we've got to make sure it's safe. Now, speaking of all these connected devices, they require a lot of power. And in this lab, you guys definitely produce the power. Will, will you give us a little brief tour? What is going on? There are giant... I don't know, refrigerators? What are all these things everywhere? So where you're at in here is you're seeing these big blue chambers that, that we actually built about two years ago, this facility, and with the help of DOE and state grant money that we had here. But what we're able to do here is literally simulate a car environment. We can take one of these batteries or a couple of batteries or lots of batteries you see in here, and we can cycle it like it's driving down the road. It can be driving up mountains. It can be going down at sea level. It can go up to, and we're able to test it in an environment that's safe, secure, and repeatable. And as you, what you don't see is a lot of people around here because they're able to run automatically. We can run these things 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year with very little human intervention because they can monitor either with video feeds from them, data feeds from them, emergency feeds. If the tests go down, they can interact with the devices. So it's a really cool environment and we've learned so much here in the last two years since we brought this facility up and it's making our cars better every day. And I know you're a very busy man. You have a lot of things to do. We really appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping by. My pleasure. Appreciate Thanks. it.